Coming up, royal revelations. Prince Harry's claims are offering a devastating insight into life in the royal family. And a real-life treasure hunt. An old map is believed to mark the spot where a treasure worth millions is believed to be hidden. Welcome to Good Day at Four. Here's Marilee McAuliffe and Storm Tracker 13 weather with Chief Meteorologist Spencer Atkins. Now, Good Day at Four. Welcome to Good Day at Four. I'm Marilee McAuliffe. Lucky players will get another shot to win the Mega Millions jackpot. Oh, Spencer says he's got his ticket. I'm going to grab one on the way home because that. Oh, Spencer has the winner. Yeah, We're just give up, everybody. <laughs> Goodness gracious, that's scary money. All right, our reporters are busy in the newsroom working on today's top stories. For a preview, let's turn our attention to Amanda Barrett. I think Spencer forgot that I went in with him on that <laughs> ticket, that winning ticket. So that's the way that's going to all play out. Marilee, thanks so much. Our reporters are busy today. We're going to talk more about the suspect and victim in a deadly stabbing. It happened in Charleston. Coming up, Billy's got a burglar. We'll tell you what witnesses say happened at the famous singer's home. Coming up next. Here at home, Bed Bath & Beyond is warning that the company has serious doubts about its future and may have to file for bankruptcy. Actor Jeremy Renner is sharing a bright moment in his recovery from that snowplow accident. And Eddie Murphy is back on screen in a new film with Jonah Hill. Storm Tracker 13 with a new Viper real time radar. Okay, well, I did get those winning lottery numbers, but I came to work today just in case. Just in case. All right, so <laughs> let's talk here about what's going on. Did you get your tickets yet? I mean, it's just kind of like a steady stream, I noticed. A active neighbor of Mauna Loa, it's always the young ones that are the hot problem, uh, that erupted in November for what the first time. What did that point at me for? <laughs> Since 1984, the quiet. See, it's because the older ones are asleep. That's why. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm not kidding when he said that. He was like, it's the younger ones you have to worry about. <laughs> oh, that's funny. All right, everybody, let's take a look at our big board traffic cameras. Get ready for your drive. <laughs> now, here's big board traffic brought to you by the new Thornhill Toyota. All right. It's looking pretty good. What do you think, Spencer? Yeah, this is the smoothest Friday I've seen in a long time. Just what we need. Yep. On Good Day at 4, everybody, smooth sailing across the region. We have no major accidents or delays to pass along to you. Keep it here. We will be right back on Good Day at 4. More encouraging news from the University of Cincinnati Medical Center, where Buffalo Bills player Damar Hamlin is talking to his family and team. Bradley Blackburn has the story. On 13 News with Marilee McAuliffe and Storm Trucker 13 Weather with Chief Meteorologist Spencer Atkins. Now, Good Day at Four. Welcome back to Good Day at Four. It'll soon be their pleasure to serve you. But for now, the construction continues at the region's newest Chick-fil-A. And there are bobblehead versions of almost any famous person you can think of. And even our very own Spencer Agnes. You don't say. Look at this. Like that's that's yeah. been handy. Look at that. Uh, it, you know what? We actually we use it also as an earthquake detector. So if it's just yeah. sitting there and it's just going like that, you probably got a problem. I just feel bad for whoever was in the factory making this. They're like, who's that? <laughs> who's this famous guy? <laughs> who's, who's this dude? I have no idea. I'll and these are not available to purchase, and we don't have any in stock, so stop asking. <laughs> we don't have these or coffee mugs, right? Well, coming up on Good Day at Four, did these two guys discover the best West Virginia style hot dog? Stay with us. I'm going to relish in the moment here at Bogey's Driving Range in Tornado. Well, let me be frank. <laughs> this is a good wiener. <laughs> and we hope that you can catch up on YouTube and at Facebook at Have Fun WV. You know, whether you agreed with them or not, I really do. I think it was a great venture that they did. I thought that that was really cool to bebop around and yeah. highlight these mom and pop shops. They did a lot of work uh, highlighting a lot of people, put them on the map, and heck, they got us talking. Wait, right. you ate them all? I didn't. Oh, wish I did. Yes. It's no secret social media games and having technology that connects us is here to stay. Can you tell us about the features and really how important this type of technology is for folks? And it has a look at what's coming up at five o'clock. All right, Marilee, coming up today at five o'clock, it's the annual day long gathering of the West Virginia Press Corps and key lawmakers 
They're briefing everyone on the upcoming legislative session at five o'clock. So you went on a little uh, tour. Oh, a just a little version, a, little a small part of a much bigger venture. And yeah. I had so much fun. Bogies and Tornado, okay. great friendly staff, and the dog was delicious. It was definitely a controversial venture though. It is. Not. People have very strong yes, opinions. Yes, they do. Yes. I was at the custard stand um, in Webster Springs just the other day and um, it's deli they're delicious. There are so many good. Yeah, I, it, it's a very yeah. tough yeah. decision for sure, but Boogie's nonetheless delicious. What a great story. I'm posting it on the website right now, so check it out and weigh in for yourself on Facebook and tell us what you think. I want to hear your opinion. Thanks for joining us, everybody. Hey, have a great weekend and stay tuned. Your headlines are coming up next.